What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the electrics. Hopefully you guys are having a great day whenever you guys are seeing this video. My better half is not in the car right now because she's getting ready. Um, so we were actually struggling with what to do next. We wanted to do a uh, blind taste test next. Uh, like similar to the junk, it's basically the junk food video that we, we did a few videos ago. We also wanted to do a fast food mukbang, but we s decided it's been quite some time since we've done an air fry video. So if you guys recall a few videos ago, we got a giant carrot package in the mail from uh, actually a few subscribers. So we're going to be including some of those items in this video too. Also, there's some new items out at Walmart and Target and in, in our local grocery store. So we're going to go kind of scavenge for all the new stuff and put that in this video. Also, some suggestions that you guys actually suggested on the last air fry video we're going to be including in this video as well. So that's that, Electric Empire. Actually, no, this is not my main channel. <laughs> that's it, uh, little electricians. That's what I wanna say. It's time to get this video started. Two hours later. Alrighty guys, so before we get all the, the cool, fun food stuff and go scavenging for food, I actually just got out of the post office and we got some more packages. It's actually super cool that you guys send Christy and I stuff. And that's actually funny because I don't get stuff anymore really for my main channel <laughs> I just get stuff for this channel so I'm super excited uh, we're probably gonna unbox these Christy's always super excited to you know unbox things in our PO box so yeah I'm excited to get into all this now it's time to get some food get a reaction Ooh. Christy and Eric the electrics babe oh hey <laughs> Oh, people, people. Just remember when I first met you, the P.O. box was only for you. I was and just saying that, now it's for no, us. No, look at that. We'll unbox them later. All right, so the last time I came to Walmart. You got them wrong. I was just Last time I came to Walmart, I was searching for the new drumstick cereal and the new Oreos. They're like s'mores, s'mores Oreos, but they didn't have them because the Walmarts on the West Coast always get things last. So hopefully I can find them today and also the stuff we want to air fry. Yes. I kind of forgot what we're going to air fry. No, no, what we're going to no. figure it out for sure. We do get suggestions on IG. Have you looked? Oh yeah, I got them on my phone. What do we do, babe? Do we get... You get them both. Ooh. Toss okay. them in. They have the new cereal. They have the new cereal. <laughs> Yes. Okay guys, so we're not, we're going to get one of these and I'm buying the other three for a future video on my main channel. They're not gonna be in this video. So we are getting mint chocolate, classic vanilla, How do you feel about this? Um, I feel like we've been standing here for like 30 minutes. <laughs> so we are definitely not doing that. No. What do you, do you, you want to do a little Debbie? Yes. Alrighty guys, well, at least Walmart got the cereal. We're probably not gonna actually eat the cereal in this video. It'll probably be the next carb coma we do. Yes, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, now we got pretty much everything and some stuff at home still. It's time to get this home. I hate saying get this all presentable. Get it all fried. It's time to air fry. We are not air frying the whole Rice Krispie treat. Just saying that right now. I don't even know how I'm gonna get my face in this thumbnail. A whole new world. A dazzling place I never do. But when I'm way up here, it's crystal clear. And now I'm in Babe, who sings that song? Whole new world Is that song? Let's let him keep singing it. Babe, I gotta finish this. You, oh, I'll help you. You're never taking me to another Disney movie again, are you? No. Look at those guns. Look at those guns. Okay. <gasps> now all I think about, like, I wonder if my parents are gonna watch this. I, that's all I can think about, too. Can you hold that for me? Thanks, love. Thanks, love. You're welcome, Eric. We should just have a whole video where we just speak in, uh, we just speak like, Hello, Christy. What would you like to do today? Huh. I'm not sure, Eric. Maybe we can go down to the trolley. The trolley? The trolley. 
The trolley? Trolley you, is like a shopping cart. Would you bring your jumper? Jumper? Your jumper. What are you We can go about? eat some chips. Some chips and dip. Let's put those, let's put these right there. Babe, these have been in the freezer for how long? Probably about a year. Ew, they're gonna taste nasty. They're gonna be freezer burnt. What about the chips? I'm getting there, babe. Okay, whatever. You are grumpkin. And they need, a half. To be, they need to be. Put them right there. We just, we'll just like have our eyes. Look at this. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. So my mom and dad <laughs> called me the other night, and they were like, "Oh, we just watched your latest video on the electrics," and I was like, oh, "What did?" And we had to go rewatch it because we were like, what did they see? What did they watch? And I told my mom not to watch any drunk bongs and she goes, what's a drunk bong? I hope you're not saying anything inappropriate. And I was like, well, on the drunk? Kind of sounds like drunk bong as in like, I'm not even as in like alcohol and weed, like drunk bong. I'm not even gonna like. Good call, boo. All right guys, so we have all the food. Well, we have to air fry some other stuff besides this, but everything is right here. Now, I just had an urge. And now it's time to air fry. Round one. Ooh, look at that. It's crispy and delicious. French toast. Yum. So we decided to air fry some Slim Jims. We're also air frying some chicken because Some green beans because health. Some flaming hot Cheetos because. And some Takis because. Crispy things are amazing. While the. We don't need the knife. So we, we have two went boxes to the PO box. Well, well, he went box. to the PO box. And again, guys, they were addressed to Christy and Eric or the electrics. And that just makes me feel very special. So. Thank Let's you. See what's Thank you for including me. Ooh, it's a hat. Come two hats. hats. Okay, not so fragile. Team Ketchup Team. That is That's the best sick. thing I've ever seen. That is dope. I'm putting this on right now. Me too. Thank you to whoever sent this uh, over. Hold on, let's see. Yeah. These are actually pretty cool hats. What did I say? From Shay. Thank you, Shay. What, is, what did Shay say? Some, I don't know. Can't read it? No, well, no. Oh, she says, no, no. no, she says, love this channel. I've been watching oh. Eric for years. Plus, Eric's, plus, plus love Christie's fitness and influence. Hope you wear these in your next mukbang. We're wearing them. Shout That's out to so Shay. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much, Shay. Thank you. That's super cool. We love getting stuff from you guys. We're definitely wearing these. This is sick. I'm actually wearing this in the video on my main channel. Is it Christmas? Oh, it's a Reese's. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, no. Babe. They're, this is what you needed. Yeah, it's, 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 that's exactly what I needed. And then Jeez. a Reese's half pound. Guys, we love getting desserts from you. We'll probably have to you put these in the next, so in the next uh, junk, junk food one. Or we could put in... We, well, we'll find a way to include these in the next oh, one. Oh, heck yeah. Thank now, you guys. Now it's time to finish up. These hats. Air frying like everything. Battle with it. It is not. Ooh, Slim Jim's got a little... Are, they look like burnt hot dogs. So it's safe to say that our Slim Jim's got a little crispy. Yeah, did. Little Debbie cakes. Do you even lift them? I wonder if those are just gonna be notes. Probably. Ooh, man. Look at that. Very, very interesting for sure. Ooh. Well, this looks like a very interesting Last Supper. Okay, so. Every time we do these videos, it's seriously, it's like a chemistry experiment. You just don't know what's going to happen. So uh, just to kind of go over everything, we have our toaster strudels right here. Uh, we have French toast sticks right here. We have Rice Krispie treats, peanut butter balls, Debbie cakes, Oreos, chicken, Cheetos, Takis, Slim Jims, and green beans. Uh, because we needed to get some some veggies in today. Yes. So what you guys need to do though, before we get into this is vote down below with what you guys want us to air fry next, because we, this is our f third, fourth air fry video. I don't know. 
We love these though. We love these though, and you guys seem to like them too. So, um, first of all, we actually, we've air fried green beans before, but we just wanted to include them in this video because we like doing these and getting junk foods, but we also like to show you guys how you can leave, lead a healthier lifestyle. So that's, you know, something we like doing with these. I like these, um, just, it, it just switches it up from eating green beans raw or steamed or... Yeah, the other thing you can do is put like asparagus in the air fryer. You can... Um, I make them as fries. And you don't have to use an air fryer, guys. You can actually... Basically, an air fryer is basically like a... a, a it's a, like a conventional, conventional... It's an oven that circulates hot air. So basically... It's called a convention, a conventional convention. Somebody, somebody correct me. They're like big. I don't know. Anyway. It's, it's an oven, guys. You guys can do this um, if you really turn up your oven super high. My drink. That's that's neat, babe. You have a drink up there. Careful, the lid's not on. Thank you. So now we've gotten that all out of the way. What, what do you, would you like to try with? first? I know. I was just. Do you want to start with that. breakfast first? I think that makes sense. Um, of course, if we don't frost our toaster strudels, we're going to get destroyed. Oh, way to go. Way to, way to think. Way See? To I'm better getting to be a better YouTuber than you. And just for the record, everybody, I think toaster strudel is better than Pop-Tarts. I disagree. All right, here we go. Cheers. One of their best flavors. Guys, strawberry cream cheese is one of the best flavors of So this is what I hated about toaster strudels, is that when you put them in the toaster, when they're frozen, you can never get them unfrozen in the center without burning the crap out of the outside. I didn't eat enough um, toaster strudel in my, in my childhood to know that. So I'm actually really impressed right now, babe. Like the things you say, sometimes I'm just like, Wow, she just continues to that impress I, me. That I remember that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. That's why I liked Pop Tarts better, because it was always so hard to not get them frozen. Um, these are actually holding up the Cheetos, but we're gonna get into the French toast. Some sugar-free syrup. And no, guys, sugar-free syrup is not worse for you, or quote unquote worse for you than regular syrup. It just saves calories. Because mm -hmm. there's people out there that still believe diet soda is gonna cause cancer and kill you. We don't talk to those people. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, these are crispy. Guys, so far the the, the air fryer has definitely worked for this. Oh for yeah. This video. Cheers. Yep. Babe. What? Those are so freezer burnt. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> if anybody wants to know, what French these toast sticks. Frozen in your freezer but for two if, plus years. Okay, it's been a little over it's a year. Not, they they Guys, really crisp really well, and I don't know if it's because the air fryer or because they were. If you're listen. gonna. If, shh, shh. <gasps> That's all I'm gonna say about that. Okay, so never mind, I take that back. One thing I successfully air fried. I'm sure you could actually do those better. I'm sure they'd be fine air fried. If it's you just but funny. the key to air frying though, guys, with certain things, if you want to get crispy all around, you have to toss it. Oh, yeah, that's true. You have to stop it and then toss it around. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, I think these would be better if they were... Not been in your freezer for three years? How long have they really been in your freezer? I bought them in um, March of 2018. Oh, so it's just been over a year. Yeah. It's been three years. Over a year. I never said it'd been three years. Well, you made it sound like it'd been three years. Babe, you, if you take what I say sometimes and you get a little, you take it a little bit above and beyond. I want to try... I just want to try one of these Slim Jims too. It's really burnt Slim Jims. I actually kind of like it. Hey! I actually kind of like it. But that is good. Wow. It's weird because Christy is the only person I've ever met we that like. likes crispy burnt food as much as I do and overcooked food. So we go to his mom's for Memorial Day and she's cooking chicken and fish and she goes oh, oh guys i think i overcooked it and we were like it's, it's perfect fine. it's cool it's perfect and it's perfect too because half the video uh, half the comments on our corn ramsey video are about our our preferences of meat yeah i love it like he air fries this chicken and it's just crispy and dry i just i absolutely love it yeah these um so i definitely say that's something air fry again slim jims 
I'd air fry the toaster strudels again for sure. Yeah. That's way better than toasting them. The um the Slim Jims are left over from that keto challenge that I did. I didn't oh. put them in that video. <laughs> um Someone asked you why you didn't like keto in the last video. Why I didn't like keto? Remember that one girl that was like, I'd like to know why Christy doesn't recommend keto or recommends keto. Even though Go you ahead and DM me on Instagram. You don't recommend keto. No, I don't. I don't recommend keto. Keto was not designed for weight loss. It was designed to help with neurological diseases like epilepsy. And they've, I think they've been doing studies on autism and the problem with using it for weight loss is that yeah you'll I did keto for about six weeks and I lost about four pounds total and as soon as I introduced carbs I gained it all back and my I just felt so I felt I felt like crap the first week I felt great the second week and then it just like plateaued yeah and the more research I did on it it's not great for female hormones. That that's that was my conclusion, and so I just. And just so you guys know, keto is a diet. If you guys are don't know about diets or what diets are, keto is like a high fat, no carb diet. And that's why I recommend flexible dieting. And if you don't know what flexible dieting is or macros, I do have a webinar. I mentioned it in the last video, but it is still linked below. If you have not watched that training yet, go learn about macros. My way of teaching macros. Go watch it. That webinar is extremely helpful and useful to actually it's cool to see christy babe you got jelly there you go nope yep let me see look at me nope still there where right there you go got it okay um i was just gonna say it's very cool to see you a lot of you reaching out to christy for uh, i know it's awesome. awesome i love it you all right so the last awesome. time we air fried talkies they turned out extremely good like, she had never flavor. tried Takis before, before. This is wild. It's the wild, what is it just called, wild? Yeah, it's just called wild. But it's supposed to be spicy buffalo. Spicy buffalo. buffalo. It's not as good as the last ones. It's because they're not as hot as the last one. There's not as much flavor in these ones. I don't, I, I, I agree with you. The last ones are better. Yeah, the last ones are way better. I recommend sticking with the original. I still like them though. Let's check out the Cheetos. Ooh, those are always good. Those are definitely tastier than, the, than these Takis. Okay, I recommend these not air fried because they kind of taste stale to me. They do kind of taste stale. But the Takis, I guess we do have the original. I mean, these ones are non air fried. Oh, much better. That's interesting. So you like the original Takis we did in the last air fry video. Better air fried, but those original. These are good because you can actually taste the buffalo. Oh, yeah. That's a big difference. Yeah, it's a big difference. Oh, yeah. It literally is just rolled tortilla chips. That's so interesting. Hmm. Those are good. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I definitely see how these taste stale. At least there's only 15 grams of carbs in them per serving. Yeah, not mm. bad, not bad. I like the Takis better. I just need to watch my sugar intake. Don't even get me started. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't think I should go on this spiel because everyone's going to be like, bro, it's because you do food challenges. Why don't you look at me like that when you say it? Because that's the way I, I, I envision every single troll. Or person that thinks that they think they know they're talking that, that person that thinks they know what they are talking about. Eric legit used to eat like a pound of apples every night. 800 to 900 calories of apples. And he has gone three days without apples and I'm very proud of him. So babe, you're going to make me sound like I'm a crazy man if I explain this. If you guys don't want to listen to my rant about my nutrition situation slash blood sugar, then tune out right now. Ugh. So. Fast forward. No, actually rewind. You mean fast forward? We should rewind them? into the past. Yeah, but if they're fast forwarding through this part. Oh, 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 okay. I get what you're saying now. It's like, what? Um, last Monday, I, no, it was like a, a week and a half ago, like a long time ago, I filmed 
my hostess, or yeah, my hostess overload challenge. Um, before I did that for the video, I checked my blood sugar, or my fasted blood sugar that is, and it was 126, which is very, very high. Now fast forward four hours before that, and I did probably one of the most strenuous bike rides, bike rides I've done probably years. Um, uh, didn't obviously take that into account when I took my, my blood uh, before the challenge. And uh, so that, uh, what was it, the day after that, I took my blood at the same time and it was like 87. Mm -hmm. Which is still, it's in the normal range, but it's like on the higher end of normal for fasting. Um, and so, uh, I was like, man, I should, you know, like, I mean, that's, I was still scared. I was like, dude, why is my blood that, that high? Um, and I've always kind of even, like being a teenager, I had a high fasted glucose levels too. Um, so it's kind of always like been there. Um, and so I was just been freaking out. Like I have diabetes, all this stuff's happening. Oh my gosh. Um, and then come to, f I, I come to find an article that just says that athletes typically like their blood sugar actually spikes after high workouts. Like, um, when I saw, um, shout out to Ben Greenfield is a really great source of information on knowledge and, or on fitness and everything. Um, posted like this picture on Instagram about his, his glucose spiking over like 200 after a strenuous mm -hmm. workout. And I'm like, kind of makes sense. Cause I took it last night and, um, had a pretty like low strenuous day and it was, what was it like 92? Yeah. We were a lot more relieved after seeing that reading. Yeah. So, um, it's just like, I eat extremely healthy outside of food challenges. He does. And he's, I, he's healthier than the I thing do. is, it's like, if I had diabetes, it's like I have, I have such like a the only way I could see myself having diabetes because my sister has type one, so it's like, I just it wouldn't really make sense, especially with my lifestyle. Diabetes is mainly brought on through lifestyle and right, but it, poor it diet. but it's genetic in your case, like it's hereditary. Yeah. So, so uh, we're probably gonna monitor it a little bit more. We're gonna monitor it, and if it we still have questions. But long story short, is I was eating like 800 calories of apples. Which was like, how many grams of sugar? I think I, my highest sugar day, I chalked it out that night before was like 210. And for a male, you're supposed to have less than 35 or 35 grams max, females 25 grams. Me personally, I try to keep my sugars around 15 grams a day. Like I try to keep mine extremely so I was low. like, yeah. Wow, so I scaled it back, but the, the sugar that was mainly taking out my diet was 110 grams of fructose from apples. So I've been doing that every single day, pretty much. Like apples, fruit is very satiating to me volume wise. So I like, sense, yeah. I, I prefer to eat a ton of apples than a ton of broccoli because it just so it tastes better. So I have a better. weird question for you. What? So before you used to get up in the middle of the night frequently to go to the bathroom. So now that you've cut out celery, which is full of water and apples and pears, which are also very high in water, do you get up to go to the bathroom as often? Nope. Interesting. Completely stop that. Do you even get up to go? I, I wake up at like 5.30. How oh, typically what I do too. Instead of my, my normal sleep routine was go to sleep at 10, wake up at 1.30, pee, wake up at 3.30, pee, wake up at 5.30, pee, and then wake up at 7.30 to pee. Yeah, and now that you've cut it all out, you don't get up? I, I still, I pee a lot when I wake up though. I drink, I probably pound like 24 ounces of water before I go to bed. Maybe That's crazy. 32 ounces. Yeah, and then you eat like, yeah, and, or well, no, you drink out of the, you drink almond, almond milk too. At night? Not typically. I haven't Actually, done that you wake in a long time. If I'm like really hungry before I go to bed, as a child growing up, um, if I was hungry, drinking milk always made me feel really, really full. Mm -hmm. And then I could go to bed. Interesting. And so now I drink cashew milk or almond milk before I go to bed, like mm -hmm. a cup or two of it. And it just, it, it makes me up. feel so full and then I go to bed. Yeah, it's just like a little trick of mine that I do. I forgot to mention earlier, if anybody's gonna jump at me for having like all that, um, majority of my food I eat before I go to sleep. So that's another that's reason true. why we- fast. Well, it's another reason, yeah, that I my, it could have been high the next day. I just feel like if you're just like pumping all that sugar into you, your blood's still gonna spike regardless. Yeah. But now it's averaging about 40 to, like 45 grams of sugar a day from yeah, 200 which is good. Yeah, which is really good. Still a little bit high, but. Yeah. Speaking of sugar. Well, I wanted to see if these would, oh, and they did solidify again. Oh, oh my babe. gosh, that's crunchy. 
crunchy Rice Krispies with peanut this. butter on it. Should I'm gonna we... do the peanut butter side. Yeah, me too. So that's, that's like the part, the part that looks the crispiest is the peanut butter that's side. That's why the peanut butter is in there right now. Right, so. let's do it. This is gonna be so good. And I hate you for eating it, just kidding. Wow. Woo! Wow! I'm gonna try it without the peanut butter side. Hold up. Amazing, amazing. That is fire. That is that is the best thing we have put in that air fryer. Did you try it too? I'm surprised it took, it took us this long this long to air fry Rice Krispies. That well, is, we had a subscriber that sent us a huge freaking thing. So that is the best thing. That is the best it. thing, babe. We have air fried in there. Best I don't thing. Know. Let's okay. So typically when we've done snack cakes, whoa. Goodbye. That just fell apart. Um, typically they enhance it. I've got a feeling that this just destroyed it because these are all like. It's weird. It's like it's it's soggy. Okay, good luck. Oh, it's actually not bad. That's really good. That's no, not bad at all. All the sugar from the heat like crystallized. Wow, that was good. That was a lot better than I expected. Yeah, that was really good. Really good. I mean, for us, Hugo Teats. I have to chase that with a green bean. Was it tasty? Okay, now that my hands are just like... What do you want to do next? Well, the last thing we have are the Oreos, which just... That's a really good way to just, if you like to split them, oh, air split fry them. them. Alright, here we go. Actually, I'm going to do it like this. Okay, cheers. Good. Mm -hmm. I don't know, do you prefer that air fried or not air fried? I don't know if I like that air fried. I don't think we air fried it at a long enough temper or a high enough temperature because it kind of just it tastes like the inside melted. Yeah, it totally did. Hmm. Well, babe, I think that. What do you? What was your favorite? I would say the marshmallow or the rice krispie treats, for sure. What about you? Taste wise, mm -hmm. the little Debbie cake, because it's just like really sweet. Mm -hmm. But. Then I would say the the Oreos or not the Oreos the <laughs> Rice Krispie treats for sure. These were a that was a total fail. fail. Um, toaster Cheetos were good. I don't recommend air frying Cheetos. These taste better, not air fried, but the originals taste better air fried. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let us know in the next video or let us know down below what you guys want to see us air fry next. We had a lot of fun with this one. This was way fun. You always kill it, babe. You always do such a good job. Oh, so do you. Without further ado, the electrics. Ow.